49. Yes, sir. You believe in the Bible? Give me Sirach chapter 32. So you don't believe in the Bible? Sirach chapter 32 and 24. Did you? I know when you've been up here for a minute. Did you say that you know you're an Israelite? Did you say you know you're an Israelite? I mean, to a degree, I mean, if it was the real Israelite, I constantly sleep. So I guess you guys, the main hope is the hope is wake us up. You know what I'm saying? Anything about your body should be 100% conscious. I'm talking about you. You keep saying us and them and everybody. You're talking to you right now. I'm telling you what I believe. I got no problem with you discussing. But it's like it's a it's a constant wake up what your brother teaching. A lot of people are sleep on the, the whole meaning of the meaning of Israelites and you know the wake up call. You are too. You are to a degree that you think no, you don't know. No, it ain't no to a degree. You are. I mean, if you because as me, as the we read not the Bible. You know what I mean? You want. I mean, listen. We read not the Bible. You said out your own mouth that right. you believe the Bible to a certain degree. That's true. Everything ain't because I didn't see nobody write it. Right. What the Bible did to make you believe all that show you and who you This is the book of Ecclesiasticus. Oh, you said what the Bible what do the to make me what? You so far to show you are a divine man that you find out the comments. What got you more blessed more than me? Right now, this particular state of mind, we do it that we walking and talking on. Like, that's right what, what's got you so blessed and so divine that a good, great walking, talking? You know what I'm saying? That you follow the commandments and what make you more better than me to talk to me in a certain way that. I'm not for the commandment. What is look, the, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor? It's about the look. Read that in the Sirach 32. Well, I want you to listen to this real quick. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 32, verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. Do you believe in the Lord? Do you believe in God? I mean, I, I believe that, hey, I've been a Christian twice and Got out and I do the, the, the it's a yes or do you believe in God? To a certain degree. So no, you don't. It has no to a certain degree. You either believe or you don't believe. Proverbs twelve twenty six. So that means you don't believe. Read, and that's what that's and that's the reason we're gonna finish this up. Read. And he that trusts in him shall fare never the worse. So he that believeth in the Lord take heed to the commandment. You're not taking heed to the commandment. He brought the law out about your do-rag. It's that's the Bible. We not we not saying that the Bible said it. You refuse to take your, your head covering off. That shows that you don't believe in the Bible. And I asked you a simple question: Do you believe in God? Uh, to a certain degree. Nah, I don't. Know. You don't believe. That's why you're not able to receive the things that's coming out of this Bible. Bring it out. That's why you're not able to re receive the things that's coming out because you don't understand it. Right. Psalms chapter one eleven and ten. It's not about where you live. No, it's not. It's, we, bro, we teach over here. We teach on the west side, the south side. We all over the world. This Bible is all over the world. It ain't about you living up somewhere up across the street. No, it don't. How are you blessed? Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You have shown that you have no fear of the Lord. That's why it's hard for you to understand what the Bible is saying. It said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You're not blessed if you don't fear the Lord. Because if you, if you think you're blessed, you're blessed by the devil. Right. Read. A good understanding have all that do his commandments. So you have a good understanding when you do the commandments, when you apply the commandments. When you don't apply the commandments, it shows you don't believe and you're not going to have the understanding of God. You may excel in the wisdom of this world, but you're not going to excel in the wisdom that God gave us. Is that it on that? His praise endures forever. Proverbs 12 and 26. You asked the question. You said, what, what, what do I think? What, do I, what, else, what have I seen in the Bible that affected your life? That affected my life. Why you been following the company? You following all the rules? What made you more effective, you know, what got you so, you know, effective with on uh, Father Commandments, you know, that more different me than you, where you... You saying what caught my attention? Right, you know. About what my, what caught my attention in the Bible that made me do what I do and believe what I believe or and how, act how I act. Or more or less, how did it make your life better by following it? How did me following the commandments right, make my life better? Right, what's making That's what you asked right, me. Right, right. Okay, we'll better. start here. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 26. Read out. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. So it says the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. What does it mean to be righteous? Don't do bad things. Don't break the 
What does it mean to be righteous? What's what my brother with the bulls hat? What does it mean to be righteous? That's exactly what it means. What do you think? Before he said that. Huh? You don't know. So what you said is in the Bible. Let's get that in whole let and get Proverbs 26 and 25. Because it says the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. You my neighbor because you look just like me. We, just, we are the same people. No doubt. Uh, no doubt. The, yeah, only, the, only, the only difference between us, we both live in, we both live in the curses. We both living in the same captivity. We both living in the Chicagoland area. But there's a difference between us. And the difference is that I'm, I'm striving after righteousness according to God. Let's see what that righteousness is. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. And it should be our righteousness if we observe. You hear that? It says, it's, it's, so this is the Israelites in Deuteronomy. They said, it shall be our righteousness if we observe. If we observe what? To do all his commandments. To do all his commandments. So you are only consider righteous or blessed if you are keeping God's commandments. If you're not doing it, being blessed is not, it don't matter what, what material things you got. Being blessed means you keeping the commandments. Read. Before the Lord our God, uh -huh. as he has commanded us. So our righteousness is us keeping the commandments. Our righteousness is like my brother did. He took his hat off when the word coming out. That shows that he has a level of belief. It might be small, but it shows that he believed. You by, by you making many million excuses of why you keeping yours on, or oh, my head ain't right. That shows that you don't fear God. That's right. You don't fear God. Now let me see, let me see, give me um Revelation chapter twenty one. Cause you saying you keep saying I'm judging you. I'm correcting. What we're doing is correcting you. There's many definitions of judge. We're correcting you. Now, now see this, my brother. Now I want to. My brother. We didn't even read the scripture. My brother took the head, took his hat off. That shows that he believed in the word of God. But him, listen, you ain't gonna make his life better. I know I'm not gonna make his life better. I ain't say I would. But this Bible would. That's right. This Bible would. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. So you know what you know when this is? This is judgment day. That's right. This is this is what you saying that we're doing to you, and we're not doing this. We correcting you. We cor no, we're correcting you. The the definition of judgment that you seeing right now is us judging that your actions and letting you know hey, your actions are not lining up with the Bible. So correct them so that you can be justified before God when He come and judge. Because a lot of people say that most of our people got that on their mind. Uh, only God can judge me. Everybody got a tattoo. Only God can judge me. Do you really know what you're saying when you say only God can judge you? I mean, but 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 really, but that's what you're saying without saying it. That's really what you're saying. Read. Which is the book of life? So he says the books were open, and he says another book was open, which is the book of life. The book of life is what? My brother, what's the book of life? What's the book of life? Exactly. This is the book of life. So on judgment day, the most high God gonna open up the books. The other books is our books, the books of our life. The things that we done in our life. And he gonna open up the Bible. He's gonna open up his laws. And read on. What are you gonna do? And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according the to the dead, works. He said the dead were judged out of the things that was written in the book. A man shall not cover his head when the Bible coming out. That's something that's written in the book. And if you don't uncover your head when the Bible coming out, that means in a, on judgment day, you're going to be sitting there and you're going to be weeping and bitter and crying like, man, I should have took my head, I should have took my do-rag off when the brothers told me. But I ain't know how to do it. It's going to be too late. Now it's, it says he's going to be judged. Read the last part. According to their works. According to their works. Your works is you applying the commandment. Right Taking the head covering off your head when you're reading the Bible, when you're dealing with the scriptures, when you're getting understanding. Putting, going and putting the fringes on the, on the board of your garment. That's 
the works. Uh, the works is what we physically do. Our actions that we take after we hear the God, have, after we hear the word of God. Read. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, uh -huh. and the dead in hell delivered up the dead which were in them. So everybody, every spirit on this earth is gonna get right. Those that's dead, those that's alive. We all gonna have to answer before God. We gonna, we all going whether we believe it or whether we say, hey. You know what? I believe some of the Bible. You know, I don't know. I can't believe it because I didn't. And they didn't. I didn't wasn't written in, in front of me. Many of the books that you read wasn't written in front of you, but Bring you still read them. So what we're trying to show you is that the Bible is our history book. The things that's happening to us is written in the Bible. Us getting shot down in the streets is in the Bible. The, all of this stuff is in the Bible. And it, what that show us is that we are the Israelites, and the only way to change it is that we keep his commandments. That's right. If we don't keep his commandments, then we're going to continue on a, a death toll. It's going to continue. But the thing is, you gotta, if you read it, you have to apply. You have to apply. That's the biggest, that's the biggest thing about it. Uh, let's finish that. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. Every man going to be judged according to their works. So whether you believe it or not, you might not even receive it today. But you better dwell on it and really think. The things that you heard today, you better really think about it and think. I mean, you know what? I need to apply these things I'm reading in this Bible. The reason why we out here, we don't want you to just say, I love y'all. I love I love that y'all doing. We want you. We want to see you on this side with us, fighting with us. Right. We want you. We want to see you keeping the commandments, so that when Christ come, when Christ come, because you see, why are they making? Why are they making nuclear weapons? You think they're making them for sure? But you think they just, they gonna sit forever? Them nuclear weapons, they be in hell, you know, they be in hell until we wake up. Until a certain number of us wake up and apply the commandments and get the laws of God sealed in our mind, then them bombs dropping. What side you gonna be on? Read that. I want this you to is, hear this. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 31. And they come unto thee as the people cometh. And they sit before thee as my people. This is what a lot of our this is what a lot of our people do. They come, listen, like man, y'all bringing it out. Hey man, I love what you doing. Y'all, y'all teaching the community. Y'all building up the community. I'm, I love that. I love black power, black unity. I love this. This this is what this is saying. Read. And they hear thy words, but they will do them not. It says, read it again. And they hear thy words. But they will not do them. It says they hear thy words, but they will not do them. We can get a crowd of, of 15 brothers up here while we out here on the streets and bring it, bringing the word out. Hey, you got a flyer? Hey, man, what, what's the contact information? Hey, where y'all at? Y'all on the west side? Da, 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 da. And then we go to we go to the school weekend and we got months, months, months pass and we never see the brother again. That you don't want to be on that side. You actually want to hear these words and go and study it. Look at that flyer, go study the things so that you can see what we're bringing out. And then when you see it, come to the school. Don't just leave here and go about your merry way, continue to go on to work, never look at the information again. Read. For with their mouth, they show much love. A lot of times, this is what our people do. They show much love with their mouth. Hey man, y'all bringing it out. That's the words of the book. Read. But their heart goeth after their covetousness. It says their heart goeth after their covetousness. Their heart, our people, we are stiff-necked and hard-headed people. We love the, for stuff. That, that's why. The, that's why the churches on Sunday I feel, because we love to hear feel-good message. We love to hear something that make us feel good. But the minute we tell you to take some action, it's like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. Because right. you want to, you want to stay in your lust. You want to stay in your lust. You want to stay in what you good, you good with doing. That's not how we supposed to be. Change is hard, but it's possible. Right. It's possible for us to keep the commandments. You see us out here. And it's a whole bunch more of us that's keeping the commandments. If we can do it, you can do it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. 
We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.